All right, we are picking right up from where we left off last time. Better get a move on, dead man. Am I playing as dead man? This makes it look like I'm about to. That's delicious. Really primo stuff. as to what is actually going on right now. Uh-oh. You better make a run for it, dead man. That's not a good sign. are in like World War One era outfits, but he's actually wearing modern like camo and stuff that you would see on soldiers nowadays. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is his beach. Um, Mama had said like maybe this was an instance of the beach. I think it's his because they had said every beach is different. That's my guess, at least. Episode 7, Clifford, the Big Red Dog. suspect. Uh, did you see the man leading the soldiers? No. I think it's the guy you told us about. 
The born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB? He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole. A, a square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after BB. Oh, fuck me. Right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up BB either. You'll lead him straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... <sighs> you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace. Sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me. 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam. What do you mean by 70% of you is... Uh, the dead, are you like... Oh gosh. Suddenly this has become a, a shooter. Um, but did you like put dead people in your body? What happened to like all of this stuff I was carrying on? Is it just lost now? Is that what's happening? Also, I didn't realize, I guess I wasn't paying close attention, uh, I, I thought that the uniforms the skeletons were wearing with um, Mads Mikkelsen were actually, um, like, the World War One era ones from before, but uh, this is, I believe, not really sure what battle this is supposed to be. I initially thought it was the Blitz because of all the aircraft overhead, but I don't think that's the case. We got a tank lighting the place up. Lots of blood bags, but no weapons, unfortunately. Oh, I guess we have a smoke grenade. Not really sure if that's the kind of weapon I was hoping for, but it's something, I suppose. Are you really having difficulty with ankle deep water, Sam? Okay, um. Where am I actually going? I thought I was supposed to go down this way, but. I think actually it might be this gate here? Okay, yeah, here we go. Whoa, how long has this been a thing? Has this always been a thing? Oh, that's the Luden's mask. Okay. Um, what what's it talking about this spotlight? Where is this spotlight thing that it was talking about? All right, 
Alright, well I got some nice shades on at least. Oh, that is with the spotlight on. It's just not very bright at all. Okay. Interesting, they're now telling me that I've had a flashlight all this time. I guess it's always been daytime, to be fair. Um, Alright, bunch of dead bodies in the sewers, as you tend to find. What's that? I saw a red light coming down that way. Does that mean that those soldiers are nearby, or what's going on? I hear BB. Or crying at the very least. And I see a weapon. This is our first weapon since we've gotten here. Here we go. Come on, Sam. Climb. There you go. Sam! Over here! The little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. Pass me, Lou, before Maybe we get this separated. this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. Uh. So, do you still share memories? <sighs> I see. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <sighs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Good job, dead man. I don't know how to tell if the spotlight is on or not. Whatever, I, I don't think we need it. Okay, what are we working with? Oh. I am not moving here. This is the game.
don't really have any weapons to fight you, so hopefully it'll give me some soon, or I'm not actually going up against you right now, because otherwise this will not go well. These skeletons have modern gear on. Ah, uh, here we go. Assault rifle. Wait. Do I want to use chromatic rounds or do I want to use standard rounds? I feel like I want to use standard. Go ahead and reload, Sam. I love that this game has suddenly just become a third person shooter. And you know what? I'm kind of down for it. It's a very pretty setting to be in. Um, so, I'm not against it. Alright, let's take this time, let's collect some more weapons while we can. You're good, Sam. Get yourself on that. Shotgun. There isn't a whole lot in terms of weapons around, actually. Which, not great, I will admit. See a skelly boy over here. Open fire. Let's just light him up. There we go. One less skeleton to deal with. I think. I don't know if they can respawn. I mean, they are skeletons after all, but... Hopefully they can't um, respawn. I am starting to run out of weapons. Light him up. Unless I can... Maybe I can actually, uh... Use the hematic round. Maybe this works. Okay, let's retreat a little bit. Unfortunately, the hematic rounds sick share the same ammo as the, uh... Oh wow, that plane just crashed in the background. The hematic rounds share the same ammo as the regular bullets anyways, so... Okay, come on. Let's grab the shotgun. I want to try and get some armor going, that would be handy. And we've got another assault rifle, perfect. I basically just want to get some more actual weapons slash armor before we have to fight again. Open fire! Um, okay, real quick. Breaks up the tone, I know, but I want to just put on that armor. And then let's offload this. Okay. Will we be good to drop down there? That looks like a pretty far drop. I did not mean to pick that up. Okay, well... I accidentally picked up a... the empty assault rifle. All right. Him going down should make them all disappear. 
Okay, I want to get over to the other side and grab that armor plate. We need reinforcements. Because I am taking get quite a beating. Not your BB anymore. Sorry to break it to you. It's my BB now. All right. What else do we have around here? We've got a grenade, another assault rifle, some more blood bags. All good stuff. Also, not the nicest thing to call me. Don't much appreciate that, sir. Okay, right now we are an absolute mess of cargo. So they're up here. Let us offload this guy, as well as these two, and then we will auto-arrange cargo, and hopefully that means, ah, well I was hoping I would put on the other armor plate, but suppose not, and then from there we should be good. Okay. Where are we looking? I, I want to kind of just target um, Mads Mickelson where possible, Cliff. Because if we take him down, it takes everybody else down. Hence why he's drawn some more people in front of him right now. He's trying not to get hit himself. So we will just light him up. Oh, I think that's the fight there. That was easier than the first one in the trenches. Thanks for the dog tags. Now let's have a bro hug. Cool. 
from the report on the void out in Manhattan 1, 2, and 3. Okay. I think the memory we just saw was from after Cliff got shot by the security guards. Um, and he must have just hit himself inside of some sort of building and... Not building, but room and... Broken up the, uh, the security panel. BB isn't looking as hot as I remember. Not looking too good, BB. You feeling oh. under the weather? Lou, how's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. That child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd have made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A void out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges, too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. Pressing Sam's buttons, dead man. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. What? <laughs> Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless, Meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone. Anyone. 
You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. You must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The <laughs> Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Not really sure how you would have um, showered with Sam anyways, considering the fact that you're not really here. All right, yeah. Give me a little wink, appreciate it. You know it, let's do it, Sam. Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, um, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs, religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything. And those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover? EX Grenade number zero. All right. We're actually... Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Okay, so we're in Mountain Nut. I, I have no clue where we actually ended up getting dropped off. Chug a bunch of monster, as one does. We'll put on some sunglasses. I actually can put on the hat once I've left, now that I think about it. It's not letting me use the toilet standing up, so I guess... He doesn't have to go. Um, okay, in that case, how are you doing, Lou? That was quite the reveal um, about Sam, to say the least. You okay? Just disrupting his sleep. All right, let's go ahead and we will leave the private room. Can I help you? Holy shit. 
John. Is that you? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were that perfect. That was Die Hard Man's voice. So that must have been before he, um... My guess would be that was before he got his face burned? The west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the chiral network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I for one would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say... One minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Is Lochna cool with us just taking Mama's corpse? Um, because I feel like that'd be a little weird running off with her sister's body. Alright, let's deliver this lost cargo. Alright, perfect. And then, what all do we have? Oh my gosh, we have a lot of junk in here. And yet we're missing stuff also. Which is unfortunate. It actually got rid of a lot of my stuff. Huh. Um, okay, well. Power gloves, let's put those on. I guess let's take the power skeleton with us. We will carry it on our back for now. And we will wear the all-terrain skeleton. Take some spare boots. I mean, I don't really need weapons outside of maybe a bola gun man I lost like PCCs and stuff that's all a little unfortunate um, I've only got the one bola gun so I guess I'll take that and then I guess we fabricate another what is it under floating carrier yeah, so let's make two more of these guys. Number owned three. Where, though? Are, are you counting, like, other private lockers I have? Because I know I have more elsewhere. Okay. And then we will just... Take on an order. Hartman's lab. It's actually not that far at all. Um, it looks like. I thought it would be further, but that looks pretty dang close. And that now explains why there's like a heart-shaped lake there. Or a spade, I guess, if you look at it as this being the bottom of the spade here. Um, so yeah, let's deliver all this 
Oh, deliver Mama's corpse. We're not even gonna have room to carry stuff, so perfect. Because we have to deliver Mama's corpse. I didn't think about that. Hopefully we can still carry our cargo, but I doubt we will be able to. Whoa, where did... Where did all this extra stuff come from? Oh, I guess it was all down here. Huh, well... These two... I don't know. Let's let's try and see if we can carry the stuff and if not we'll throw it in the private locker. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry. She won't go necro. Melingan special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. I still think it's cool that um, Lachna slash Malingan there, they got heterochromia. They have like the two different color eyes um, when Mama merged with Lachna. Alright, um, so it looks like we aren't going to be able to carry the body. Okay, well, in that case, let us activate the terminal, private locker, and I guess we just throw all this junk in the, uh... Yeah, I guess we just throw this stuff back in the locker. Place in private locker. And then we will carry this. Okay. Okay. Really, Sam? Chill. Chill, chill. Stop running forward. I'm not even pressing movement. I'm just trying to see where Hartman's lab is. I mean, actually, I was going to see if we could use the roboticist um, zip lines to get closer, but there are zip lines here. I wonder if that reaches. Because if it does, I could get to Hartman's lab a lot easier. Where is he at? He's up there. Okay. Yeah! Oh heck yeah, that that cuts out a lot of travel time, to say the least. Anything it's connected up to. It's connected up over there, but I don't know if we actually want to go over there. Oh, I'm wearing that otter hat that I got from Conan O'Brien earlier on. Very cute, Sam. You look great. Alright, Sam. Any year now, you can just climb up here. Oh wow, we are literally already at Hartman's facility. That was way easier than I was expecting. Also, this ladder, um, what is that placement? That is just begging for me to uh, eat it by getting off of it incorrectly. Um, let's try dropping down here. 
There we go. We should more or less be good from here on. Wow. Everybody else has, like, little tiny shelters, and Heartman has, like, a mansion to himself. Dang, dude. I see in there. That's a really nice building. Okay. Um. I guess. It's okay, BB. It's okay, buddy. Just want him to stop crying, cause that's a little loud and off-putting for the video. All right, so now should be able to just go on up here. This mansion of Heartman's gives me um like Hitman vibes. This feels like somewhere you would go to carry out a assassination contract or something. Blending in his guards and stuff to get in. Oh yeah, this place is real fancy. take any damage. 3% damage, that's not bad. Considering I just had a little teensy Request fall right at the end. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Interesting, we just connected up that heart-shaped section. Thermal pad. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Good work. Oh wow, I actually get to deliver something for once? Until resuscitation, remaining time a minute 20. This is a swanky joint, to say the least. Very nice place. Little weird everything's padded, but... Episode 8, Heartman. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. 
Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> Dang. You've died just a couple of times, friend. I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? <laughs> if death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy, an impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing we were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. What is that? Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize, and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. More likes. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. It's been 16 minutes already. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, 
I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling the strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay then, um, is there actually stuff I can look around at? What a weird office this guy has. Um, oh, so you can look at stuff, I see. BT model artist's impression. I mean, I don't know what to look at. Unknown ore recovered from Void Out Crater. Um, so I ran the numbers and... Uh, uh, he said 218,549 times, which is 3,642 days. Or... Um, almost 10 years. For almost 10 years, he has been stopping and starting his heart again. That is uh, quite the commitment, to say the least. One like for that. BT models. Um, I don't know if there's actually anything else left to check out. Sorry if this is disorienting, I'm just seeing what I can and can't. Nendoroid Jumbo Ludens. Cryptobiotes discovered immediately after the stranding. Chiral Crystal immediately post death stranding period. BT Apparition Artist's Impression. BT Illustration Artist's Impression sighting number three. Alright. <laughs> this is kind of a weird mechanic. Especially since I don't have much time left, so I'm like... Is this actually important? Whale skeleton. Is this just a way to kill three minutes, or... Do I get something for doing all of this? Heartman's daughter.
If I like scroll over stuff this way, does it work? I have no clue. I don't know what I'm doing. The heart monitor, guardian of life. All right, well, we're basically out of time anyways. Now look. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Oh, from 20 minutes of love. Running, of course. <laughs> a 1914 short but best honestly, known as the King of Silent Comedy's directorial debut. I spend here. All downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst, but the shock wave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> the people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go!
The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. But it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armily proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes <laughs> to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. I see now why everything is padded. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mat floor absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. <laughs> you were docked 20 likes by heart, man. Scratching up his records, what a rude move. And I got those 20 likes back anyways. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal.
Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the Cairo network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Amelie's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. I'm hoping this isn't like a bunch of extra, um, like mountainous terrain. I'm, I'm not digging the mountain stuff. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> Um, but yeah, wow, we learned a lot about Heartman, we learned a lot about how the Death Stranding kind of works, um, in general, so that's all really interesting stuff. Uh, I think for now we are gonna finish the video up here, next time we will be picking up and just going to those scientists, and, I don't know, it sounds like we might be approaching the end of the game. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but our end goal has always been get to Edge Not City, and we're couple stops out we just need to get these three scientists and then the chiral way station and then i think we go straight to edge not city so a couple more episodes maybe and then we might be done but yeah anyways i'm gonna end the video here it, make sure if you enjoyed the video to go ahead and like and subscribe and i will see you all next time for some more death stranding have a good one everybody bye